Hey, it's Justin Potney on the Mixed Morning Grind. John McPherson is my guest this morning from the Edmonton Symphony Orchestra. John, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. How's your summer been so far? Well, you know, it's nice to get back to work. We've been uh, we've been sitting around a lot, us musicians. So uh, this is uh, this is pretty exciting getting back to uh, to playing music for people, which is what we're supposed to be doing. No kidding. So being alone and uh, I guess you're just uh, you and your instrument practicing for I don't know how many months, right? I mean, <laughs> you're not able to, to do it in a group setting or were you able to do it somehow through the magic of technology? Well, you know, early on, uh, people tried to do things, you know, the uh, cluster Zoom concerts, but that was that was it was fun for a while, but it was pretty unsatisfying. So that that kind of right. withered away. And, uh, you know, we've just been left to our own devices, basically. So I guess is being a part of the Edmonton Symphony Orchestra a full time gig for, for folks that are involved or do you have a career outside of it? Well, absolutely. Uh, no, it's a full-time professional orchestra, and uh, uh, there is time to do other things. Most people do some teaching and maybe do some other work in other fields and, uh, you know, other fields of music or or, or whatever. You know, there's a bit of t extra time, but uh, no, it's absolutely a full-time job. So going back to the early days, where did you get your passion of music from? Ah, that's a good question. I, I mean, it's always sort of been there. Um, uh, I uh, grew up in a fairly musical household, and there was always music around, and music was was important. And uh, I just, uh, I was always drawn to that, and I, I really don't know what else I would have done, because I just sort of followed my nose and ended up being a musician. And so was it the trombone that uh, was your original passion, or did you kind of move from instrument to instrument? Uh well, my first instrument was actually the accordion uh, when I was. Oh, really? Old. Yeah, yeah. Nice. I, I wanted to play guitar, but at, at the music shop, they said, no, nah, your hands are too small. Here's an accordion. So, uh, <laughs> anyways, that uh, and then, you know, I just started in band in grade seven. I, uh, I, uh, I was given a trombone. I didn't have a whole lot of choice, but uh, yeah, I've always enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, I play a few other instruments, too, along the way. So what it is about the trombone specifically that made you kind of go down that path as far as professionally goes? <laughs> um, well, people started hiring me to play it, I guess is what uh, allowed me to do it professionally. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's a very natural instrument. It's, it's not the most difficult in terms of technical facility. If I had to... Uh, to put in the hours that a pianist or a violinist had to put in, I, I probably wouldn't have ended up in music. <laughs> so making your way to the Edmonton Symphony Orchestra, how did that come about? Um, well, it's uh, I was actually a student of the person who held the job before me. Uh, not that he had anything to do with me getting hired eventually, but um, he trained me very well, let's put it that way. Yeah. And uh, when the job came open, I, I auditioned for it and was uh, was lucky enough to uh, to get the job. And I've been still learning on the job ever since. So I've got some questions when it comes to orchestral type things, because I I don't know too much about it. So I, I was kind of wondering, you're the principal trombone for the Edmonton Symphony Orchestra. What does the, the principal part mean? <laughs> uh well, uh, that just means you're sort of in charge of your section, uh, the trombone section. Like if you're the principal first violin, you would take, you would be in sort of the lieutenant in charge of, or lieutenant in charge of, of that section. So we're, we're sort of like, uh, um, you know, we're sort of one level up in terms of leading, leading our own sections. My section is not very big, so it's not a massive responsibility, but it means, you know, in general, you play the highest notes and you would play the solos if they come up, things like that. So when you're looking at the orchestra as a whole, how is it organized? Do you have similar, uh, when you're, we're looking at it from, from the, uh, the audience perspective, is it set up in similar uh, similar instruments are set up by each other, or is there a, kind of a, does it get mixed up throughout different performances? How does that go? Well, in these summer concerts, it's sort of getting mixed up, but, uh, you know, in general, if we're playing sort of traditional repertoire, um, we're, you know, we're set up in a general, in general way with the strings in front and then the woodwinds behind that. And then the brass and the percussion sort of in the back, because we make the most noise. Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> so it's not like a marching band where the trombones are in the front, but that's only because the, we have enough room to move our slides in the back so we don't hit anyone in the head. Did you ever play in a marching band? <laughs> uh, no, no, luckily I didn't. I've, I've done some, uh, actually I did, a, I did a job once where we were substituting for a marching band and I was playing a Dixie, uh, Dixie tuba and that was actually quite an exhausting job because we had to march through a small town uh, with our little Dixie band and, and uh, we were a poor substitute for the uh, marching band that was supposed to do it. I guess you get your cardio in, right? <laughs> I sure did that day. That's for sure. <laughs> now, let's talk a little bit about the Edmonton Symphony Orchestra Summer Concert Series. You guys are going all over the area. Uh, yeah, we've got, it's called ESO Outdoors and uh, sponsored by EPCOR, the Heart and Soul Fund. And uh, we're going to outdoor venues in Edmonton and surrounding communities, uh, Fort Saskatchewan and uh, Beaumont, Leduc, um, Devon, uh, Sherwood Park, you know, all over the place. It's going to be really fun. And so does this kind of get you guys to maybe some audience that you don't usually see kind of expose uh, the Edmonton Symphony Orchestra to, to some other folks? Well, that's been one of the uh, kind of cool things about um, about the pandemic is when we have we haven't performed as the full orchestra in well over a year since uh, last March, so a year and a half coming up almost. Uh, but we have been able to perform in smaller groups, and that allows us to play these smaller venues. We couldn't play the kind of stages we're playing in these surrounding towns like Fort Saskatchewan with the full orchestra. There's just not enough room, so. So that's kind of neat because we're 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 sort of dividing up into into teams and uh, and heading out to these other communities. So that's going to be really and really fantastic. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. August sixth at Legacy Park, it's taking place, and uh, it's kind of an interesting setup too. It's it's a pay as you can format. Yeah, I mean uh, whatever people are comfortable with. Um, Concerts are about an hour long, uh, general admission, and uh, yeah, whatever whatever people are, are comfortable with. We're we're uh, you know, luckily we've been supported throughout the pandemic and been able to keep our organization afloat. And uh, we're trying to give back to the community, and uh, whatever people people feel comfortable with is is great with us. So now, John, you you've made a real far in your career. You've become an elite musician. For younger musicians that are thinking, hey, maybe this is a career path for me. What advice could you give them? Uh, well, to play in an orchestra, you really have to you really have to, uh, to be begin your training, you know, fairly young. And uh, if if you are an interested musician, let's say a teenager, um, I would say the most important thing is to get private lessons from a reputable teacher. That's that's really what you need at that stage um, to sort of create the technique you're going to need um, to. Uh, to uh, become a, a, a classical musician, at least, or, or any any sort of you know well-rounded musician, uh, you know everyone has music in them and can express themselves in many different ways. But if you're looking to get paid to do it, then uh, then you need some skills. You got to hit a certain level, right? <laughs> That's right. Well, John, thank you so much for taking a little bit of time to talk to us today. We sure do appreciate it. Uh, best of luck with the Edmonton Symphony Orchestra, and we can't wait to see it coming up August 6th at Legacy Park for the ESO Outdoor Series. We're looking forward to it.